Waterbury County Council vote tonight. Warry County is one step closer now to becoming one of the most connected counties in Indiana. Eyewitness News Amanda Mueller was at that meeting this evening. She's in the newsroom now with what she learned. Amanda? Well, in a five to one vote, the Warwick County Council approved the Warwick County Advanced Broadband Project. That means over 100 miles of fiber optic backbone and wireless LTE are coming to Warwick County to keep more connected than ever before. All those in favor? And it's five to one. This vote tonight opens up a great deal of our territory that is in remote areas that do not have the internet right now. The new plan approved by Warwick County Council will offer broadband coverage for 99.9% .9 of the county, where many people rely on satellite. Which, of course, is not reliable all the time. Anytime it's really cloudy and if there's trees, you're not going to get uh, good internet. Broadband can be a way to invest in local communities. Uh, Purdue put a study out in August of 2018 that said for every dollar that we invest into broadband, we get four dollars back. The new system would be a boon for business. Health care services are among those that could see improvements. Patients will be able to meet with providers uh, over things like telehealth systems. They'll be able to contact the providers via the computer. Uh, it'll also decrease costs or emergency services. Broadband in Warwick County could also help traditional industries regulate in high-tech ways. And it's going to help our farmers. It's going to, the technology will help them buy and sell, uh, have access to drones so they can monitor their crops. The plan could take two to three years to complete and then Warwick County will be the only county in southwest Indiana to have a looped system. If there's a break somewhere, it's going to be in a big circle loop. And if, like if somebody cuts a line,